total project of 3,000 and some units, uh, of which 1,000 would be low income, 1,600 would be moderate income, say $35 per room, and the remaining 400 would be middle income. I feel that we're being neglected in terms of we're being uh, more and more commercialized and not having the residential part of the community preserved in any way. Commercialism will come in and wipe us out. The question on all of our minds is when is something going to happen? Uh, we don't move as fast as private people. I wish we did. Uh, we've got to go through this elaborate procedure and, and you know, in the long run, I think it's going to work. When you took the 50th Street site for a school, was it five years ago? Yeah. And you discoated all those tenants, and we've even had to come and beg to you, make it at least a playground for a while until you do something with it. I'm living there for 16 years now. What will I do? I, I can't get into project, can't see so good with my eyes. And I have to get out because I have to use four keys to go in. One key outside, one key in the vestibule, one key for downstairs where I am, and one key to my own door. I can't do that. I can't even go, uh, I can't even go home when it's dark. That's why I don't even go out. I want to go out and I want to get out of there the worst way and I can't seem to get anything. I don't know what to do. What is the matter? I mean, no, the city really has to start to think in terms of people. They, they really do. You know, that number of people without a place to live, a decent place to live. Well, is it any wonder that our city is in the condition it's in? Right, and that is not Effective planning means listening. Experts are full of ideas. Residents sometimes come up with better ones. This is the house that's next